hello out there to the internet. This is my first time doing this in video format. I usually do this as like a, a journal entry where I basically just kind of look back on the games that I played during the year. It usually is something around like six games, which is the games that I'll cover today. Final Fantasy 13. This game has some notable, largely criticized flaws. Many of them are true. It is very linear. I thought the story was heading in a good direction and then fell flat in chapter 10. I'm actually not as harsh as some because I, I still actually really enjoyed this game. It rectified one of my bigger complaints about Final Fantasy XII. I actually like some of these characters. In fact, uh, Fang is one of my favorite characters ever. She's awesome. Beautiful, strong, determined. Besides her, there's some actual development between the character relationships as the story progresses. I thought that was good. I like Lightning and Saz. I even found Snow and Hope tolerable after a while. Vanille is pretty annoying, especially with her voice. Gameplay was fine. Unfortunately, it's not like older Final Fantasy games where you can control your entire party. You're stuck with one person. But they brought this about in Final Fantasy XII, and I basically had to accept it then, and I accepted it now too. Because I just, if they keep going in this direction, I don't really see them changing it. But Square Enix, hey, if you're listening, yeah, I'd much rather have it the other way around. I didn't have high expectations for this one because I didn't like Final Fantasy XII. I mean, I, I didn't hate it either, but it's pretty low on my list, if not the lowest. And before this year, I had never even finished Final Fantasy X. And I believe it's even the same director, so I was never all that excited for this game to begin with. But I enjoyed it. I had fun. Not a top favorite, but something I liked. And as a bonus, it did have one of my favorite characters ever. Onward Ho to Blaze Blue Calamity Trigger, which I had actually played some of last summer when we got it. I'm going to go ahead and count it for this year. Because I played a lot more of it, I took the time to go through the story mode, through every person's story mode, to 100% them, and all of that stuff. Blaze Blue is, in my opinion, overall, it's a, it's a pretty good game. It doesn't leave that big of an impression on me with the characters. I mean, don't get me wrong, I like some of the characters, it's just, I'm not crazy about them. And the story, it was kind of neat that I could play through multiple stories and, and get more information, but... It really didn't make sense either. I mean, a lot of games, I know, they have stories that don't make sense. That That's still not a good thing. Supposedly, Continuum Shift, a sequel that came out this year, clears up a lot of this stuff. But basically, Calamity Trigger was my fill. I'm in no hurry to really continue just yet. I don't really agree with the policy of charging for DLC characters. With that in mind, it's, it's not an all-out boycott, because I imagine we'll probably get it someday. But... Definitely lower on my priority list. After Blaze Blue, I played Final Fantasy VIII. My friend Carrie is crazy about this game and loves Squall. And and I, I like Squall too from when he was Leon in Kingdom Hearts and in Dissidia. I actually thought he was really funny. I mean, I don't, I don't know if he was meant to be, but that's pretty much how he came off. Like a kind of a, a dry humor, the way he... I mean, sometimes the things he says is very deadpan and serious, but also very funny. That's a little different than than the version of Squall in Final Fantasy VIII. He's not all bad, but I'd take the city of Squall over FF8 Squall, personally speaking. I had been a little intimidated in ever playing this game because of the weird junctioning system. It sounded really different and really confusing. Which are true, but once I looked up a couple of things and, and linked a couple of things and the game got like really easy, maybe even too easy. This is, in my opinion, definitely the easiest Final Fantasy game I have ever played. I'm not really sure what to say about the story because I, I recognize and agree with a lot of the flaws that are pointed out, but 
I'm also the, of the opinion that most of the Final Fantasy games I've played don't have good stories or have flawed stories, at least. There is a part in space that's really sweet, but there are other parts that just make me kind of doubt the, the course of the story. I enjoyed playing it. Like Final Fantasy XIII, it's not a favorite, but I enjoyed it. After Final Fantasy VIII, I played Final Fantasy X for the third time, or however many it had been. Because this game bored me so much that it took this many tries before finally finishing it, it already kind of has a big point against it. It's not a good first impression. I don't like a lot of the designs in this game. Graphically, it's a good-looking game, but I don't think some of the design decisions were very good. I don't like the main character, Titus. It's not really a design issue, although I don't care for the uneven pants. It's more because he, he's annoying. He's not exactly a bad person. He's just a generally annoying guy. And a lot of it is because of his voice. But then there's another key character, Yuna. I guess she's a pretty popular character. I mean, I, I don't hate her, but I, I didn't really care for her overly polite and overly apologetic attitude either. I can't really say I found a lot of the rest of the cast annoying. I didn't. Riku's nice overall. She adds this nice little spark of energy to the main party. Design-wise, I, I don't like Waka's hair. I don't like Lulu's dress front consisting of a, a bunch of belts. It would have been much better if it was just plain black dress. And then there's Oron, who is actually a, a very cool character. I, I liked him. I, I think he deserves better I didn't like the sphere grid instead of leveling up numbers. I did get used to it after a while, and then I started to like it towards the end because the obsessive person in me wanted to fill it all out, but I'd still have traded it for a regular leveling system given the opportunity. I started liking the game closer to the end. It's not a bad game. In fact, a lot of people really like this game. I just don't think it has a strong main character, and that really hurts it and some of the design choices, like I said, so it was really hard to push forward in this game, and, and that's not a good thing. Alright, so after FF10, obviously I didn't dislike it too much because I took my chances and decided to go ahead and play Final Fantasy X 2. This game is a bit of a mixed bag because, well, for starters, the whole point is Yuna's looking for Titus, and as I had just said, I don't even really like Titus, and I had some things I didn't really like about Yuna either. But in this game, Yuna is growing stronger, she's developing, Riku's in it, and there's a third character, Pain. I like Pain, she's cool. So overall, I mean, it was a limited party, but a good party. You know, I, at least I didn't really mind any of the girls playing as any of them. I played the heck out of this game trying to get the 100% for, well, not really for the ending, so much as just saying that I did 100%. I mean, yeah, I got the ending. I watched it. Tell you the truth, I think I preferred it without that ending. But the game was cute, and it was a lot of fun, so I did like it. Sometimes I'm a little bit of a trophy whore, and after going through several months without any, I wanted some. When I was trying to pick out a new game, I was trying to keep in mind something that would have trophies, and eventually I settled on Yakuza 3. I've always liked Kazuma. Even when I just watched my husband Andrew play the older Yakuza games, I, I already liked this character. It's fantastic. It's my favorite game this year. It's one of my favorite ever, favorites ever. I, I really... Really enjoyed the heck out of this game. There was plenty to do, a story to progress, a character I liked, all of it really good. That's pretty much it. Thank you.